Hello and good afternoon. Welcome to our Earth Day uh, workshop for 2022. Today we're going to be working on paint pigments from scratch, utilizing some plants from your own garden, um, or you can buy your supplies too as well. But uh, before we get started with today's workshop, let's review our materials and then we'll go ahead and jump on in. So for our workshop today, we're going to be utilizing some carrots and blackberries. It is up to you what vegetable you uh, would like to incorporate uh, since it's your garden. So if you have carrots or tomatoes, uh, corn, it's, it's up to you how you want to, how to do this. Um, I went ahead and went to the store and bought some produce so that way it's fresh and I can show you how to do this. Um, but you'll need one a, a rubber spatula. Uh, I have a plate as a cutting board because I could not find a cutting board, but we're going to use that today. Uh, a knife, also one of these uh, strainers, and then some bowls too as well. And then when we get to the paint pigment parts, you'll need um, some kind of grinding stone. If you have a food processor, you can use that too as well. And then we have a blender off to the side too as well. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so with your blender, you'll get you'll go ahead and start out with whatever food you're gonna um, use. Like I said, we're gonna use some blackberries. So you add your blackberries to your blender. If you want to add a lot, you're more than welcome to add a lot too. And then you'll go ahead and add some water. About a third of what you have in your blender. And then the last part is just to go ahead and blend it up. Once you're done with your blending portion, what you're going to do is go ahead and get your strainer and a bowl. And then what we're going to do is just strain the pulp getting the liquid, separating it from the pulp itself. And then uh, once you've done that, what you'll do is get a cookie sheet, put some parchment paper down, and then put the pulp on the cookie, uh, on your parchment paper. So let's go ahead and do that. So at the time of shopping, I can I forgot to grab parchment paper, but you'll put parchment paper down onto your cookie sheet, and then you'll get the pulp of your blended item. So I did blackberries on camera, and then off camera I did carrots too. When you do your carrots, it helps if you um, cook them a little bit just to soften them up. Otherwise, you're going to get chunks of carrots in your, your pulp too as well. Um, but then just put this in the oven, uh, or, well, preheat your oven first, to your lowest temperature setting. Most ovens are, I think, 200 degrees. And then you'll put this in there overnight. Um, unfortunately, that did not work out for this batch. And again, I did not, I forgot to do uh, grab parchment paper. So this is my carrots, and then I have my blackberries, and you probably can't tell the difference, but I also had cucumbers on here. Um, very unsatisfied with the first method of doing this, but I will show you how to use this. The other method for making paints um, from scratch is your leftover juice um, from your blending. Um, you can go ahead and add a binder to this, uh, if you're going the natural route, what you could do is add some honey, um, about a, a tablespoon of honey to your overall juice, and you use this as your paint too as well. Um, 
but let me go ahead and uh, show you how to process your 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 dried out um, pulp too as well. So the instructions I followed were um, to leave your the pulp in the oven overnight and then take it out. Um, and as I mentioned, I'm kind of <laughs> unsatisfied with the results, but you're supposed to easily peel off your pulp from your parchment paper. And then you'll go ahead and put it in a container. And you can use a mortar and pestle like I'm using, or you can just use um, a bowl and, I don't know, a rock or a spoon. This is the longest, the, the long process is that you have to grind up your leftover pulp into a powder. Um, so this is going to take me a while and I will come back once I have it uh, more done. As I mentioned, um, I didn't like the way it was baked, um, partly because I think it's the aluminum foil. Be sure to use parchment paper when you do that. Um, but again, if you have the leftover juice, you can use this right away. Add some honey um, as, a, as a natural binder. And then if you have an essential oil, um, I'm trying to think, I think, tea tree? Can't, I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, it'll act as a preservative, so it'll last longer too as well. But this is ready to go. This pul um, pulp juice is ready to go. And then with your powder paints, um, this one here is blackberries, and then this one here is carrots. And as I mentioned, I think it would make more of a difference um, powder-wise and, um, and pigment-wise if you use parchment paper rather than foil like I did. That's probably my mistake. But once you have uh, your your powders grounded up, uh, you can use a sifter and sift it even more. Um, I did not use a sifter because I don't own a sifter, um, but it's, it's good to know in the future. And then you'll use, if like I said, if you want to use a natural paint binder, you can use honey and incorporate it into your paint. Um, another option to do is to uh, incorporate egg. So if you want to use the egg yolk um, only, and you can use that. Or if you want to use egg whites, you can also use that too as well. Um, just don't mix egg yolk and egg whites together. Um, just so keep them separate. Um, but yeah, so we have our paint powder, and then we also have the paint juice too as well. All right, everyone, so through trial and error, we went ahead and made some paint pigments from scratch. Uh, you can follow the first method I did or the second. Uh, it's entirely up to you how you want to go about it. Um, I'm going to do some ad additional research because my paint pigments didn't come out the way I wanted to, to have it come out. Um, but if you are watching this video first, we did do some other videos. We did tree care as well as recycling 101, so be sure to tune into that. Um, and then tune into all of our other events too as well for this upcoming month. 
Uh, if you're not already, be sure to, to, to subscribe to our social media platforms too as well. We have everything from Facebook to YouTube, uh, TikTok, um, as well as Spotify. So you can find all that on the homepage of our website, which is um, linked down below in the video description. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. My name is Joshua. Thank you for hanging out with me today, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Mm-hmm.